Before we do the young buck, about the young bucks, um, I wonder if you could just, based upon your own experience, provide some advice for people starting out in our industry, as as to as to whether you think they they need to take a certain route, certain levels of degree, or certain mix of company work, survey work, whatever you think is most important. Well, I I, I would say perhaps the most important thing. Is a, is a really good grounding in general geology. So um, this is then the quality of your first degree? Quality of the first degree, really. <clears throat> and if that, if that doesn't even contain a single course in economic geology, I don't think that matters. But hopefully it should have a significant field component. And that's becoming, of course, more difficult these days. But <laughs> absolutely. I mean, because that, that, that's still the, the, the underpinnings, I think, of, of, of mineral exploration. It's a field activity. And it's never really going to be ever be anything different. So it's 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 a good grounding in in, in all the the, the, the the traditional disciplines of, of geology, and plenty of field components. So that, that, that there's a there's a serious practical aspect to it all. You practical do, practical ingredient to it all. You probably more than others travel to more universities on an annual basis than most geos. So. Uh, are many schools still providing the, the adequate levels of basic geology, or do you, are, you, are you worried about that? I, I am concerned about it, yeah. I think it's, it's definitely getting less. Um, there's a, the, the, this health and safety culture, again, of course, is one of the inhibitors. And, and, and there's also a significant cost involved, of course, in, in, in getting people to, to, to field situations. Well, there always was, wasn't there? There always was, but, um, you know, in, in, in these, these, uh, these times, that, um, there seems less impetus, really, to, 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 to spend money on that sort of thing. So this is, for, for companies, it's, it, potentially it's going to be a problem that the younger generations coming don't have the basic field skills could be um, unless, unless I think companies have just simply got to got to step in more and more. For instance, here in Canada, since we're sitting in Toronto, um, uh, Canadian companies companies used to traditionally take on students for, for summer field work. And it was a four month summer. Yeah, and and they would learn all the rudiments of, of exploration, see how the professionals operated. And it would also give them a very good feeling whether they really wanted to do it as a career or, or they'd better better off um, you know, being a copywriter in an, in an advertising agency. Yeah, I remember somebody like uh, Henry Marsden would tell you that he, he became a good geologist because of his summers working for Ron Britton. I, th I, th I think that, that would as an example. A, lot, a lot of people. I mean, I never, I never did that because um, it was not a, not a common thing from a British university. But but we did have a lot of a lot of field a lot of field trips. I did six weeks of mapping in Switzerland as uh, as part of the undergraduate degree, and, and another three weeks I think in in Yorkshire, in County of Yorkshire in northern northern England. So um, a lot more than, than than most people would get I think these days. So a student picking a university if they wish to make a career in the mineral exploration business should seriously vet. The quality of the field component I, in I, the course. I, I think that that's right. That's that's exactly right. And 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 the reason, of course, that the field another reason that the field component is getting less is that because the people qualified to to, to teach that component is all they're also fewer in number. Yeah. They they re, they're retiring from the business. So, um, but um, yeah, I think I, th I think I think. Uh, and the other the other aspect I think I would emphasise that the, the grounding in in general geology because you can always pick up the economic geology as you go along as you move from one. Well, you can't do it from books another. anyway. No, you can't. I mean, there again, I mean, you can read papers, but it has that has to be combined with 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 serious field work, logging drill core, mapping benches in open pits or underground, underground, yeah. or, or or mapping prospects. But but the other thing I think that, um, that 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 the younger generation has got to have the spirit of, of, of adventure, and it's quite a lot of geolo young geologists these days who are, I call lifestylers. Uh, the lifestyle is more important than, than 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 the job. So they want to keep in close contact with all their friends, which which is fine. But um, I, th I think you mean just, they'd rather be in the office more than the field. Yeah, that's right. And um, they th they think the job um, is is gazing at a at a, at a computer screen and and, uh, and jiggling data around. And by and large, that doesn't find all bodies. 
as per your presentation a few days ago. Yeah, that's right. Well. <laughs>